I think it will last, actually, because there's nobody left. They've gone through the rest of the, of, of the pack, and so I think it actually will last. I think that I agree with Justin that it's, he's, he's been sort of the, when everybody else has dropped out, he's been the benefactor of the Cain debacle and the Perry debacle and the Bachman debacle. And, and I agree with Justin and Sally, with, with Gingrich, you, you know what you're getting. He is, when he, when, I remember when he, when he was elected speaker, he said, you know, I'm going to put my foot in my mouth. I'm going to say some controversial things. So I, I think it will last, but I mean, the whole process has gone on a long time. I think that people are, it still seems to be being run by the right side of the party, yet we now have people going to Donald Trump and wanting him to lay hands on them and bless them. And it's somewhat of a circus, and I think at some point, uh, you know, we need to get through it. And, you know, it's somebody compared it, you know, that game at the fair, whack-a-mole? Well, that's what it's been like with these candidates. One pops up and they knock them down. So I think what Sally said is true on this point is that there is some baggage with the former speaker that we really haven't focused on. And I think that's coming because the other candidates with this polling surge are going to have to attack.